Hey everyone, it's Kelly here from Kelly Chassis Fine Art for another episode of Creating with Kelly. Check out this beautiful piece of art. It is a resin triangle and we're going to be doing this with art resin. So stick around and I'll show you all the details. I mentioned I do have full online classes. You can find them over there at my website at kellylynnart.com where I have over 2,500 students in 85 different countries and over 24 online classes that have lifetime access. So head over there and check those out. I'm totally looking in the wrong spot. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I have new videos every Tuesday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you click that subscribe button and click the little bell and you'll never miss one. For this project, you'll need a silicone mold and I will give you the link down below. I found mine on Amazon and it comes with this little liner. This one is a pretty good size triangle. It ends up being about 2.2 pounds of dried resin. Now I will tell you before we start, I did not use any release spray for this and I did have an issue on one tiny little spot where it did stick to the side. Just keep that in mind for, um, for your project. Brand new to resin or art resin, you may want to check out one of my online courses where I show you step by step how to mix the resin and there's, I go into a little bit more detail. So I'm just going to pour this in. And remember, depending on the size of your mold, you will use more resin or less. I do recommend that you can take just regular water and take your measuring cup and first of all, fill your mold with water. And that will give you an idea how much resin that you will need. So I did a very careful job here mixing my resin this time. I try not to get too many bubbles. So if you do have a lot of bubbles, try mixing slower. And you can also do this in layers where you pour a little bit in and you take the torch over the top of it for each successive layer. So I will be using for this project Panada inks by Jacquard. These are some of my favorites. And we're just gonna drop the inks right in here. So the key ingredient to this is using the white, which is um, very important because it's a little bit heavier and that is what pushes these colors down towards the top of the triangle. And I've used quite a bit of color in this particular one. And this, of course, is completely up to you, depending on what look you want. So the more pigment that you use in this, the heavier it will be, obviously. The more that you will see that the running of the inks as they come towards the, the tip of the triangle and you can also use very little ink so you can actually have some of the clear still showing now some folks have used too much white so you have to be careful and you know you could always start with a smaller project if you're a little concerned or try my online class where we're doing the coasters and sometimes smaller projects are a little bit better to give you a better idea and I do have a private Facebook group for my online students. So you can check that out if you sign up for one of the courses. And if you've tried a project with resin, I would love to hear what kind of resin that you use. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what brand that you like. I'm just finishing up with the inks here and you can watch them move and settle for a little bit longer. And this is what it looked like right before I covered it. And I will tell you this, this does get warm. This little bugger was steaming <laughs> and this is after 24 hours and it is fully cured now. This one actually cure a little faster because there's so much resin in one spot. So it does tend to cure a little bit quicker than if you have a smaller amount of resin. And I'm going to just going to flip this over here. With a little bit of a bear to get out. So you can see here and you're just going to peel this off. And look at that, is that not cool? The gold did tend to settle down to the, the top here on that, um, but still, it's just a beautiful piece. And like I said at the beginning, I weighed this bugger and it was 2.2 pounds once it was fully cured. So that is a pretty heavy piece, but gorgeous. So I hope you give it a try. Please make sure to tag me at Kelly 
chassis fine art if you end up making one of these I would love to see it and if you are enjoying these Tuesday videos please make sure to click that like button down below and also remember to join the email newsletter for exclusive content tips and more so we'll see you guys next Tuesday thanks a lot bye bye